No, not you again. Aziz works here. He needs to be deloused first. Give it a try. If I wanted to know what filthy immigrant fingers tasted like, I would lick the inside of a dumpster. Oh, yuck. Get out of here. You're going to stay the sidewalk with that smell. It's not in front of my store. Washing away all the filth. Down the drain we go. Hey, what the heck are you doing? You can't just do that to him. He's a human being with rights, you know. And it's my right to flush sewage off the property. Mind your business, missy. Do you want a shower, too? I see my investment is paying off. Hey, Simone. I wasn't expecting you till <laughs> later. Ah, uh, Taylor, dear, as I always say, a millionaire's mindset begins the moment you wake up. And I get up at 4 a.m., just so you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have some things I need to finish before we open up. Oh, come on, that's beneath you. Let the little underlings handle that. We have much more important big picture ideas to discuss. So how much was it that I invested again? 135000 Does that sound about right to you? Yep. Right on the nose. That's what I thought. So I was thinking that as this place is a local charity and because I relate so well to the little people, I think it might be a good idea for them to know who their benefactor is. Put something up that's relatable, like a plaque on the wall with my photo in it, beloved sponsor written on it. What do you think? Ah. Uh. I knew you'd love it. That's why I got this little beauty made up. What do you think? Wow, it's, it's so big. <gasps> oh, not you again. What, back for more? Oh, I get it. I must have missed a spot and you haven't had a shower in years. Are you okay, Aziz? What happened? It was her. That lady soaked me with the hose. I might assume you know this mongrel? Aziz works here and is a key member of our team. Taylor, there is no way this creature should be caught dead near the food. If our customers wanted their food prepared by a street urchin, we might as well rename the place Suicide Bakery. Uh, Aziz, I am so sorry. Please don't worry about this. My husband has some clothes in the back. Why don't you go get dried off and changed? Okay, I'll be with you shortly. He needs to be deloused first. Look, I'm not quite sure what you expected, or even if you read the proposal, but this is what we're about here. What are you saying? I'm saying that the plan is to have the entire team of bakers made up of people just like Aziz. Oh, that's sick. The last thing this community needs is filthy fingers like his in the community bread basket. If our new goal is to spread disease around the neighborhood, then we might as well have him stick his fingers in everyone's mouths as they walk through the front door. Whoa! Look, I don't think you have any idea what we're trying to do here. Oh, I get it. We want to reward all the wretched little piggies for failing at life. Well, in that case, we definitely need to rename this place Tucky Taylor's Slop Shop. Look, I think you being here in person, it might not be the best arrangement. Kicking me out, eh? Well, we'll see what my lawyer has to say about this. He was on the backup defense team for T.J. Wilson. Isn't that the guy that stole billions of dollars from Wall Street? Taylor is having them touch the food. Yes, I, I know. Uh, that's why it's called the From Streets to Success program. It's the whole reason the charity exists. You knew about this? Does this sound like anything I would have my name on? Uh, you did agree to it. I'm holding a paper with your signature right here. Simone, listen. After the embezzlement scandal, we have to get people 
people back on your side. We need some good PR. So just go through the motions. Show up at the ribbon cutting, ride off into the sunset. We have to get the public back on your side here. If anyone at the Palatial Riverside Hotel finds out that they've eaten a donut made by these degenerate imps and my name is involved, I couldn't show my face. I wouldn't be welcome in Antigua or Palm Springs. I'd be ruined. You will be ruined if you do not go through with this. I'll call you back. No. Don't, Simone. Don't. What are you doing with these? I'm just packing them up. Nice try, buddy. I caught you red-handed. Taylor! Taylor! He's stealing. I told you about I'm, him. I'm not stealing them. I'm just packing them up to give to the homeless shelter. Oh, so by giving them to your penniless comrades, you think you can justify breaking the law? Taylor! What is going on? He's stealing. He tried feeding me some half-baked story about sharing them with his hovel-dwelling friends. The day old, we always donate old pastries to homeless shelters and food banks. You're just dumping money out the window? No, no, you're dumping my money out the window. You can't do this. I won't allow it. Taylor's donations kept me fed throughout the winter. I wouldn't have made it without her. Her mistake. That would have saved me one hell of a problem right now. You know what, Simone? I think this was a bad idea. I think it's best that I just give you your check back and we go our separate ways. I haven't even cashed it yet. I actually have it right down here. No, no, this is not how it's going to go. I'm on the plaque, remember? Look, we're not on the same page here at all. This place is about helping the community, giving people a second chance and having a heart Able to help those less fortunate and you, Simone, you're stuck in that, what did you call it again? Millionaire mindset? No, thank you. You won't last a week without my money. Well, I think we'll do just fine without you or your investment. How dare you? You can't do this to me, you ungrateful idiot. Miss Simone, I made these yesterday. Give it a try. It, it wouldn't be the first time that one of these gave a smile to someone who needed one. If I wanted to know what filthy immigrant fingers tasted like, I would lick the inside of a dumpster. <laughs> oh, great. So you're a racist too, is that it? Pardon me. I'll have you know that my last husband was a quarter Puerto Rican. Thank you very much. My lawyer's going to hear about this. Say goodbye to all your vagabond utopia, because I'm going to sue you for everything you've got. Oh, another one. <laughs> Listen, this ridiculous plan of yours is a bust. But I've come up with a much better idea. No, 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 please, please, please. Hear me out. I'm standing in front of a soup kitchen and I'm wearing an expensive dress that says, Eat the rich. And we stage this whole photo op. Simone, it's over. What's over? It's too late. What are you talking about? Simone, you have gone viral, okay? Whatever the heck you were up to earlier today, it is trending everywhere. And the comment section is on fire. They want you arrested. Well, well that's ridiculous. Well, you are on your own. John, don't you hang up on me. I know your secrets. John, no, no. Here. Looks like you can use one of these. <laughs> Ew, we can't help you here. Go infect someone else. Please. This cough has kept me awake the last couple of weeks. If I could just see someone. Not without an appointment or insurance. And you clearly don't have either. Nurse Jenkins can deal with him when she comes in. That's like two hours from now. Well, if we're lucky, he'll leave before that. Here, take this and go way over there. My name's Gabriel. R write it down. Do you have a pen? <coughs> oh my goodness. Even my mink can't withstand this horrendous weather. Mrs. Hughes, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? Evelyn bit me, if you can imagine. Your daughter? My dog, you halfwit. She thought my newly manicured hand was a glittery chew toy. 
she broke the skin. Um, so would you like to make an appointment with him? Well, that would be silly. I'm already here. I just need a quick prescription to take the edge off. Where is he? Oh. Oh. <coughs> Is Dr. Erickson taking immigrant patients now? Don't worry about him. Nurse Jenkins will deal with him when she comes. I told Dr. Erickson that his practice was way too close to that shelter. <coughs> Is there someplace else I can wait? I really don't feel comfortable breathing in the same air as I'm... I'm sick, not deaf. Don't raise your voice to me. I wasn't even talking to you. You shouldn't even be allowed in here. I am a member of society. Do you know what that means? It's a person who pays taxes and pays for insurance. Your kind, they just take, take, take. You don't deserve to be sitting here. Mrs. Hughes, I thought I heard your voice. What an unexpected but lovely surprise. There you are. I was beginning to think you turned your practice into a methadone clinic and then fled the country. <laughs> well, I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye to you, Mrs. Hughes. Well, look, I don't have all day, and I just don't know what that person may have contracted or where he's been. Hey, wait. Where are you going? I don't want any trouble. Let's get you checked out. Really? Are you seriously going to treat him before me? Uh, is this a hidden camera thing? Don't you want to know if he's deadly contagious? And you may need more than a quick prescription. I'll take a seat. Good idea. Ah. Uh, Does it hurt when you swallow? <coughs> like daggers. <clears throat> Long breath in. And out. <coughs> I didn't think he recognized me. Any nausea, diarrhea? He wouldn't have given me the time of day if I was just a stranger. We run a very lucrative private practice. This is not an emergency room where you can just walk in and say, I'm Gabriel Hernandez and I need immediate treatment for free. I knew you recognized me. What happened to you, Gabe? You were the smartest, most dignified kid in school. President of the debate team. Student voted most likely to be president. To be president, yeah. Tall order for a vagrant like me, huh? I had a good job for a while, and then I got laid off, lost my benefits, lost everything. I live in a hostel that's too far away from any laundromats, so I have to ride my bike for miles in this cold slush just to get my clothes cleaned. Well, that explains this cough. It doesn't explain the tightening in the chest and the loss of appetite. Can I ask you something? Yeah, what? When you did figure out who I was, why didn't you say you knew me out there? Look, I treat my patients like royalty. I make them feel safe. If they thought for a second that I had any friends on the streets, it looks like I can't be trusted. Wow, I guess my eyes did deceive me. What do you mean? At 14, you got the entire school to sign a petition demanding the cafeteria give away its extra food to the homeless every day. I don't recognize this person at all. How dare you come into my establishment, beg for free health care, and then insult me? Please, just think for a second. Who are you really mad at right now? I think we're done here. Brian, my other symptoms. The hostel, it's not. It's okay, Gabe. There's mold everywhere. Rats. I really am trying to get my life together. I had a life before all this. I'm sorry. No, no, are you crazy? You're touching this creature? I'm sorry, Dr. Erickson, she wouldn't wait. How much longer with this Mexican freeloader? Is it a disease? Should I isolate immediately? I deserve to know right now. This is Gabriel Hernandez, one of the smartest, most determined people I've ever known. I don't care. I might be dying. I need my prescription. I prescribe an over-the-counter triple antibiotic ointment. There's a drugstore on the corner. What about my prescription? Mrs. Hughes, you really don't need any pain meds today. 
You're as healthy as a horse, and this is a minor scratch. If you cut me off, you'll be sorry. I know most of your patients, and they wouldn't be too happy to hear that you're giving away freebies to addicts. There's a pet store next to the drugstore, in case you need a muzzle. <laughs> you are going to regret this! Sorry. So, I'm gonna set you up with an ultrasound for tomorrow morning, if you can swing that. I'll write you a script for some low-dose medication that will help you sleep. I'm sure you'll be out of that place in no time and back on your feet. I, I'm already in a lot of debt. I, I couldn't, I just... Once you're better, I'm sure you'll find a job that actually deserves you and you can pay me back. No, I, I couldn't, I just... This isn't pity, Gabriel. We're gonna need you to be right as rain if you're gonna be the next president. <laughs>